hello everyone so in this video i'm going to talk about low density parity check codes uh, those are called as ldpc codes so what are ldpc codes okay so first we will try to know what is mean by ldpc codes and then we will move further ldpc low density parity check codes are the class of linear block code the term low density uh, that is here the term low density refers to the characteristic of the parity check matrix which contains only few ones in the comparison to zeros so ldpc means suppose there is a parity check matrix h then it will be containing lesser number of ones as compared to the number of zeros so that i will be showing in my next slides so uh, that's the meaning the ldpc codes are arguably the best uh, error correction codes in existence at present so those are the best for error correction ldpc codes were first introduced by r galgar in his phd thesis in 1960 so these codes are first constructed by a scientist called r galgar in 1960s and as soon as they were introduced Uh, but due to the lesser um, lesser technological know how at the time uh, those were not implemented at the time and also the other reason is the reed solomon codes uh, that is these codes the reed solomon codes and the uh, were also introduced at that time so <clears throat> at that time the ldpc codes were quite neglected the ldpc codes were rediscovered in mid 90s by r neil and mckeke in at the cambridge university so they are rediscovered by these two scientists at the cambridge university in mid 90s okay so that's some history about that then what are ldpc codes we can define n bit log uh, ldpc code in terms of m number of parity check equations and decreasing uh, describing those parity check equations with the m cross n parity check matrix okay so this is m cross n parity check matrix and the parity check matrix is denoted by h so where m is number of parity check equations so this is the m which describes number of parity check equations and n is the number of bits in the code word so n denotes number of bits in the code word m is the parity check equations so these parity check equations are mainly used to construct the matrix that is parity matrix h okay So let's move. So there are two types of LDPC codes, uh, namely regular LDPC codes and the other one is irregular LDPC codes. Okay. So what's the basic difference between L regular and irregular? Uh, first, we will see about regular. The number of ones in any row parity check matrix H will be equal and the same applies to the column. So what it means? the number of ones so in the row will be uh, every row will be equal so this is one row and this is another row and this is other row okay so the number of ones will be in first row the number of ones is 1 in the second row the number of ones is 1 in the third row the number of ones is also 1 so same applies to the column means uh, there will be equal number of ones in each column of the parity check matrix that is h matrix okay so here as you can observe there are uh, there is only one in the first column there is one number of one in the second column and there is only one in the third column also so that satisfies the above that is above explanation that uh, there will be only one or equal number of uh, ones in the row as well as column of a regular ldpc code matrix uh, ldpc code so then coming to irregular ldpc codes the number of ones will be different in rows and columns of parity check matrix so in this the number of ones will be different so as you can observe in the first row there are one two uh, okay let me show you uh there are 1 2 and 3 number of ones and in second row 1 2 3 and 4 and in fourth uh, third row 1 2 3 4 and 5 so the number of ones in each each row are different okay so let us check about column so in first column there are 3 second column 3 third column 1 
and fourth column one fifth column two and sixth column two so the number of ones in the column are also changed so that means this this is the matrix for irregular ldpc codes okay so this is the difference between them for second row question c1 c4 c6 included c1 c4 and c6 are written as one others are written as zero so similarly for the third row and uh, what is mean by row weight so here row weight is the number of rows in a row number of ones in a row so the row weight is denoted by wr so for first row 1 2 3 3 is the row weight for second it's 3 for third it's 4 column weight is similarly denoted by wc and number of ones in a column it's simple you can understand right first now the h matrix i have written here uh, same is it's same here so the parity check matrix defines a rate so what is the rate of uh, communication here so rate is k by n uh, for n comma k code where k is calculated by n minus uh, m okay so consider uh, so uh, note this formula r equal to k by n code word is said to be valued if it satisfies the syndrome calculation equation z equal to c dot h transpose equal to zero so any co any code word is said to be valid or it is error free if it satisfies the syndrome calculation circuit that is syndrome calculation equation c dot h transpose equal to zero okay how to generate code word so the how we will be generating c code word okay so the code word c can be generated by multiplying message m with generator matrix j so that's the equation for that uh, for the c c equal to m dot j how to obtain so next is how to obtain generator matrix j okay so generator matrix j can be obtained by writing p transpose concatenated with i k so i k is k is given by m n minus m so g dot h transpose i have written the same equation here okay so g can be obtained by taking the transpose of parity matrix uh, p transpose okay and m number of nodes so these are the check nodes okay so these are check nodes c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 and c6 these are the variable nodes the below ones are variables and the above ones are these are the these are all variables and these are uh, these are all check nodes okay now let us see how they are connected so first one is z1 and that corresponds to the first equation so how i will be writing z1 or how i can connect c1 c2 c5 are included in the first equation so that's why i will be connecting uh, the first node with c1 that's this line then again with c2 i will connect and the another one is c5 that i will connect here for c4 that is the second equation c1 c4 and c6 are connected so c1 will be connected then c4 will be connected then c6 will be connected and for the third all are connected except uh, okay huh, everything is connected here so c1 c2 uh, my c3 and c6 are connected so like that like this we can draw the tenor graph representation uh, the end one so c1 is there c2 no c3 no c4 no c1 uh, c5 is there c6 is there c7 is not there c8 is there c9 is not there c10 is there c11 is there. c c10 is there c11 is there c1 is there c5 is there c6 is there so like this we will be writing all possible six parity check equations because there are six number of rows so one two three four five six okay so that's about how we will be writing the parity check equations and advantages of ldpc course okay so perform close to Shannon limit capacity. So as we know, Shannon stated that uh, the codes will be performing good when they are below the capacity and when they tends to reach to the Shannon capacity means uh, some channel is having a particular capacity. Suppose the particular channel is having 50 bits per second as its capacity. So the LDPC codes can perform up to 49, 48 bits but uh, for turbo codes that limit is very less because they will be performing good at low bit rate low, low rate 
and they will their uh, performance will be reduced when the rate is increased so high throughput means uh, that's it so rate will be increased for the same meaning very low bit rate error so the errors in the propagation of ldpc codes will be lower so applications of ldpc codes so uh, where we will be using these ldpc codes used in 10 gigabyte ethernet uh, copper so standard which requires a high code rate used in multiple input multiple output ofdm means orthogonal frequency division multiplexing where uh, so this is uh, mainly used to reduce the uh, isi effect that is inter symbol interference between two uh, nearly spaced frequencies okay so used in satellite communication so it is used in satellite communication so thank you if you like the video please hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe thank you guys thanks for support